Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. I'm Van, and we are all the LFR family. I appreciate you guys pulling up. Thank y'all so much for supporting the channel. Y'all have been amazing. All right, we're here to talk about Tiffany Henyard, the Dalton gangster mayor. What's going on in Dalton is, is crazy. And I'm about to show you right now because the people of Dalton actually had an opportunity to address the matter with Tiffany Henyard, who for some strange reason, I believe she's under investigation, but they're telling her to step away because you about to go to jail any day going away. So what's the point of you even being here? Listen to the people speak. I'm just going to be quiet, but you listen, listen to these people speak. They are serious about this thing here. My children and my family are suffering because of this loss. And Dalton police, the detectives, have been sitting around twiddling their fingers on this case. This is hurtful. When I've been in contact, I've been asking questions. I've been in contact with the state's attorney's office. I'm pushing this case. I've had the Crime Stoppers come out to do additional work canvassing the neighborhood to assist the police. And nothing has been done. My husband, Tavares Edward Davis, deserves justice. Thank you. All right. Is it one more? All right. Right. Um, thank you for your public comment. Next on the agenda is general announcements. Do anybody have any general announcements? Um, yes, ma'am. All right, go ahead. Okay. Um there she go. Look at her. With her, with her cute $1,700 hairdo. Y'all saw the bank slips. Y'all saw the, and her assistant, the one that spends the credit card, the one whose name is on the credit card, the business credit card that they spend all that money on, is sitting right beside her. He's sitting right beside her. And if he don't think that she's going to blame everything on him, then he is sadly mistaken. This lady don't have any loyalty to anybody but herself. <laughs> All of those expensive, fancy trips she's been going on. Look at her hair. Look at her makeup. Her face is beat. <laughs> I actually think she's a little cutie pie. But her insides, nah, that ain't cute at all. And uh, you're going to be cute in prison. Because of all the BS you've been up to. Um, I hear a lot of the outrage, and I think a lot of it is just around um, having a space that can accommodate. And I'm concerned also that there may be some violations of Open Meetings Act because we need to have a space when we know that there's uh, this many people. Um, as such, I'm going to make a motion that we postpone this meeting and continue the agenda to Monday, April 8th, a week from today at 6.30, Dalton Park District 14700 Evers. So that is my motion. Um, trustee, second. We are not postponing a meeting. We are Did you here. Get my second clerk? And basically, okay. we have two items on the agenda. So we can basically we continue with our meeting and get through the two items that's on the meeting. So my advice to the board is we are already here. Let's handle the business and not let the business handle you guys. We're not having no meeting at no okay. Dalton I Park District. So I'm just making that crystal clear. Cl clerk, what are you doing? You out of order. You out of order. Did I call the road? Did I say call the road? I'm still speaking. You're out of order, Clerk Key. You out of order, Clerk Key. Like stop. Y'all out of order. Everybody wanna run stuff. Y'all don't run this house over here. Stop, please. So as I was saying, Ooh. we need to continue with the business. We are here. People came to a meeting to hear we have been doing in our village. The department heads, the lawyer, everyone's I to call here. The vote. So I'm asking for you guys to sit here and to deal with what's going on. We have been teaching people how to grow online. It's been absolutely amazing. We have three people who have been able to reach monetization in less than 30 days. Growing YouTube channels, some from zero people. We have one guy who had two subscribers before he started working with me. He started helping them. His views went up 4.8 million percent. We're super excited. If anybody ever want to grow on YouTube, you reach out to me with the word coach. Trusty Tammy and that's the problem that we have. wonder why we have this function. This is the reason. She said, you wonder why we have this function. And this is the reason because y'all won't listen to me. Y'all y'all are out of order. That's why we have this function. <laughs> I don't think that's why they have the, this function. It starts from the head. And you're the head, the person that gave herself two jobs and making comfortably above $300,000. And anybody that follows you, unfortunately, they won't have the same benefit. They'll be moving into your office, making probably 25000 Make that make sense. 
Yeah, yeah. I don't know if y'all seen my other video about Tiffany Hingett. If you have not, go check it out because uh, from, uh, we talked about some things. Trust me, Belcher. If y'all walk out, y'all walk out. We got business to handle. Okay. All right, so go ahead. Go ahead. Handle your business, and we gonna handle ours. Everybody getting up and gone. They're like, okay. You said leave? Right. We're leaving. <laughs> she said, uh, y'all going to leave. We got business to handle. Huh? I know ain't nobody going to leave. Why you leaving? Where you going? Power to the people. <laughs> That's an employee right there that's leaving. Well, the meeting was adjourned because we have to have enough space. So we have to, uh, the Open Meetings Act requires that the uh, that we have enough space for everybody to get in. Uh, because of that, I feel we have a lot of outrage going on out there and we want to be able to provide the space to people that they are looking for. Uh, Monday, May 8th. Monday, May 8th? Monday, I'm sorry, Monday, April 8th, 6.30 p.m., Dalton Park District. Yes. Um, well, we're trying to listen to the outcries of residents, and I think it's very disappointing. Yes. Everyone's frustrated at the moment. You're violating the ordinances. You're violating the residents' rights. They deserve this is their house. This is the residents' home. And any time you can't come in, it's a problem. And, they, and anybody that was trying to come in earlier, apparently, uh, from, um, they got patted down. They had to go through metal detectors because, you know, when you do things to people, People want to do things to you. And now the police are on God. They on God. When you do things to people, now the people want to do things to you. Now they paranoid. They think that there's a threat coming in. And it might not be a threat. Uh, who knows? Who knows? You know, but the people are pissed off. And the Dalton mayor, Tiffany Hinger, is going to lose her job. Will she lose her freedom? We don't know that yet. The jury is still out. But this is how it is. But earlier inside of this conversation, hold on one second, because this thing got bad at one moment. Watch this. You out of order. In Dalton Monday night, Watch a this. chaotic village board meeting. It got underway an hour late because of a credible threat, according to police. Only a limited number of residents were let into the building, and they had to pass through a metal detector. Those who were not let in protested outside. A short time later, the meeting abruptly ended when four trustees walked out. The uh, Open Meetings Act requires that the uh, that we have enough space for everybody to get in. Uh, because of that, I feel we have a lot of outrage going on out there, and we want to be able to provide the space to people that they are looking for. This is the resident's home, and any time you can't come in, it's a problem. During public comment, a number of residents outraged because of the alleged misuse of village funds, lawsuits, and other issues called on the mayor to step down. We don't want you here. You are your administration. Y'all need to go. Mayor, you might as well step down too. You know, because I'm tired of that too. <laughs> y'all need to go. Y'all need to go. All of y'all. And Mayor, you might as well step down too. Because I'm tired of you too. <laughs> you know, this is a disgrace that you have done to this village. In battle, Dalton Mayor Tiffany Hanyard and a village trustee who's not named are at the center of an investigation by the Illinois Department of Human Rights. The probe is focused on what allegedly happened on an economic development trip to Las Vegas last and, uh, May. Now, here's the thing, because she's been spending a lot of money. All of her trips are paid for on business credit cards, and that's by taxpayers. Taxpayers are paying for her her expenses. All of the, all of the lavish restaurants she's been going to weekly, sometimes twice a week, spending $600 here, $500 there. Every trip they take is first class, $3,000 here, $2,000 there. Every week she goes to get her hair done. Let's say bi-weekly, she goes to get her hair done and she's dropping between $900 there, here, $1,700 there. Like all of that information 
is on the video that I covered about Tiffany Hingott. But here's the thing, too. There are people out here like Roland Martin who is spending all of his time telling Candace that she's not invited to the cookout. You can't come to the cookout because you've been against black people all your life. Let me play a clip of Candace Owens being against black people. And then it'll show a clip of Candace Owens speaking some sense into black culture. And he's like, see, you've been against us forever, bruh. And he had Tiffany Hinger on his show. You think he gave her all of that vitriol? Heck nah. You think he's covering this story right now, what's going on in, in Dalton? No, he's not. Not one bit. Not one bit. He don't care about that. That's a friend of his. Tiffany Hinger? No, nah, I'm not speaking ill of her. She's a black woman. We got to protect black women. Yeah. So let's finish attacking Candace, though, because she's not a black woman. As soon as she married a white man, as soon as she started going Republican, she was no longer a black woman. See, that's how certain people handle that. And I think that's BS. I think, and he says, and I'm talking about Roland Martin here, he says that Candace Owens is afraid to debate him. I doubt it. I doubt it. Bruh, I doubt it. And Roland Martin is extremely intelligent. His points of views are always skewed and leaning to the left always leaning to the left because apparently he believed that black people are only on the left just because 90 percent of black people vote democrat does not mean that the democrat party is the black people party it's not it's not but the way he looks at it through the scope he views this world that's his case and he's sticking to it and he believed that candace is a huge problem and that right now she's tap dancing trying to get back um, get the favor of black america back on her side and because she's been fired by a white organization that that she thought would take care of her as long as she attacked black america that's how they look at things it's extremely ignorant in my opinion but it is what it is that's the divide we have for always arguing our political sides versus our values um our values that's it that's it so now all of a sudden, she's not invited to the cookout. But I bet Tiffany Henry is going to be at the cookout acting as if she's only being attacked because she's a black woman. <laughs> because when I looked at that meeting, it was 90-something percent. It was, it was a lot of people, probably 100 <laughs> percent of black people inside of that meeting, inside of that town hall, inside of that session waiting to be heard. And those are the people that she's taking advantage of. Those are the people whose funds she's been using to take her trips and to buy fleets of trucks for her brigade of security that she moves with. It's just a lot going on, man. Y'all let me know whatever y'all want me to know in the comments below. If you have yet to hit that subscribe button, please make sure you do so on your way out the door. Once again, guys, I am Van, and now we are all the LFR family, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video, hopefully inside of the Patreon as well. Y'all have been amazing per usual, and thank y'all so much for being a part of our 1 million subscribers. Love y'all.